Hey guys, I uh, would like to share with you um, uh, some information that um, I, and I think you should know is very high importance. Um, that information is about um, the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is not a literal place. Basically, the Garden of Eden is um, your chakra system where uh, God resides basically within your chakra system basically um, when the serpent entered the garden of eden that when you reach conscious uh, consciousness some people refer to it as a christ conscious consciousness and that uh, because that you are fed from the tree of knowledge. Tree of knowledge is the guardian of Eden and within, within you. The God actually, a lot of people are speculating. They say in the garden and of Eden is a physical place somewhere in this universe or it's in heaven or whatnot, but actually it's inside of you and where God resides. Um, the garden of Eden, um, actually it's around your heart chakra when your heart chakra receives the divine knowledge um, your heart chakra will open up to receive the divine knowledge and that nobody would believe it no one would believe that the, the, the Garden of Eden is actually inside of you it's hard to believe when I stumble through this information and I'm like, what the hell? Like, I didn't believe it myself. But it makes perfect sense. If you study the, uh, the chakra system, um, you will understand what I'm talking about. Um, also, you need to do a divine prayer where unification, unification of divine prayer, where you and God are one. Basically, you, you, you start your prayer with, thank you, God and the grand creator of the universe the one who created heaven and earth and created the galaxy and whatnot and then you say god you and i are one unification of your divine your divine self with my um uh divine blood and divine uh soul unification you and one we think alike we are one and basically you, you can elaborate on that but this is for something i uh, I've been praying for and since they since they're um, manipulate your dreams they control your dreams um, when you do this unification prayer with the divine self and the divine God and the grand creator almighty God will open your eyes and um, it will show you things and since you're going through a lot of trauma a lot a lot of um, pain and uh, torment and manipulation and all stuff like that in in this game of uh, uh, that been set by the by the people who rule in this planet you need a divine support God support in order to receive that you have to do this the, so it has to, this prayer it has to come from the heart and you have to believe uh, if you don't believe in a prayer that actually works, it's not going to work. You have to be deeply involved in this prayer. Basically, with your heart and your soul, you believe this prayer actually works. And God will reach out and support you. And I, so I've been praying because we, we're Muslim. We pray five times a day. And um, so I, I include this prayer with my daily prayers so if you're um, Christian or other national uh, other uh, religion you can choose what you want to include or when or what I include it every day so it's like um, a must do something you have to do like brushing your teeth every day you do that every day you don't skip so when I did this God opened my eyes and he been showing me stuff. He been showing me stuff when my eyes are open. I'm wide awake. I'm walking around and I've, I've been seeing things. And 
he's helping me and I wanted to share with you what I did to receive this help this is very important so I talked about uh, uh, the Garden of Eden which is in your heart chakra that way you know the heart is the first organ in your body that ever created so when the, your mom conceives you and what you're in your womb the first thing is created is the heart and so mothers are uh, um, uh, also is co mothers are considered um, the tree of life so mother because you are actually attached to your mother through umbilical cord and you attach to the tree of life you have to see this so when you attach to the tree of life and you are actually nourishing from your mother and you you actually receiving her DNA you're receiving her knowledge you're receiving her uh, because mothers are creators so so they're the tree of life but inside the tree of life there is uh, Gaia which is mother earth that what everybody is connected to so we're all connected to to Gaia mother earth which is tree of life we're all feeding from it and we're all growing from it and we're all nourishing from um, mother earth so if you have to, when you see the whole picture about you know tree of life and your mother your creator and your mother earth you'll be able to see how god created the hierarchy of things but if somebody told me this like five years ago i was like oh, what the hell are you talking about you know but now i see it quite clearly it's like when i did that prayer was unification with god and the grand creator god was able to show me things when I'm walking in you know walking around because you control your dream they can control your intuition you can control your information passed to you by the divine when you're awake you understand what I'm saying so all target individuals you need to they need to do uh, they need to do this prayer and the Guardian of Eden is inside of you where God resides and the uh, archangels in our angels that uh, uh, support you the, the God support so they're all there and uh, they are there to support you when you need it to but you need to ask for it so you need to think outside the box and you need to um, think about prayers that nobody have thought of because you it sound so fetch fetch off that you don't think they when they casting spells and doing energy manipulation on you and making you suffer uh you gotta go inside of you and remove them out from your because the battle is inside of you it's not outside it's not you know when you receive attacks yes you receive an attack on your body but actually the havoc and the pain and all of that in havoc your chakra because they are manipulating they're taking you in line the, the okay they're disconnecting you with the con uh, disconnecting you from God and and it's hard to believe but they can do that they can disconnect you from God by disconnecting you from your chakra you become two entities everything doesn't work properly you understand so you need to do a unification and you need to include your chakra you include your divine self and your divine blood and all of that just get creative i get creative but i'm not going to sit here and recite for you uh an hour sort of prayer or whatnot i do it and i record it and i listen to it and I go to bed, I put it in a headphone or I put it in a speaker and I listen to it all the time. So you need to do that. Reinforcement is coming, but until it comes, you need to kind of understand how the, your enemy actually attacking you. And the enemies are manipulating you. You got to understand magic. 
I don't need to know magic, but you gotta understand it. How things happen in your life, why you're sick, and why things are not working like it should be, because I disconnect you with God. They disconnect you, they could do that. Because spells, you know, curses, um, witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, whatever they call it, don't practice witchcraft. My advice to all target individuals, do not wax, practice witchcraft and do not go, go get involved with them. Anybody who practices witchcraft, you need to cut them loose and not deal with them. I know I've watched a video of this girl, she had a star on her forehead on YouTube who instruct other people to put a sigil of angels, archangels in their body, like pretty graffiti or inked uh, tattoos. Don't do that. Why would you have to do that? It's kind of stupid. You know what I mean? Do prayers. Prayers works. You don't need to go get graffiti and tattoos on your body to keep them out. There is a way. You need to know what they're doing. Watch a lot of uh, magic or witchcraft. Research it online and look for prayers that protect you against those witchcraft. Because once you do witchcraft, you are actually uh, um, removing yourself or you going far away from God, uh, uh, what do you call it, God, God pathway. Basically, God doesn't like witchcraft, doesn't like people harming each other. They do like harming each other because that they do it to you. They enjoy doing it. They told me. Uh, the other day, we enjoy doing witchcraft. We don't. Do, we enjoy doing magic. Meaning, if you enjoy doing magic, what does this has to do with me? Why you have to get me involved in this shit? You know what I mean? Do your magic somewhere else, and without, uh, without, yeah, um, without getting me involved in your in your witchcraft, your magic, or whatever, whatever you do. So, fly with this broom far away from me without asking me, oh, we like magic, and you're trying to rub it in my face and telling me this. You know what I'm saying? Get a life. So I hope this was helpful for you, and please share the love and share, help other people. Thank you.